Let's discuss a LAN, an L-A-N, a local area network. As the name suggests, a LAN, a local area network, is local. It's local. It's within a single building or maybe within a single department. We could have multiple LANs in different departments in a single building. And in general, here's how it connects. We've got the client, the device that the end user is using. It could be a laptop. And the laptop is going to connect into a wired network by plugging in something like this. This is a Category 6 Ethernet cable. And I'm going to plug into this RJ45 Ethernet port on the side of the laptop. And in an office or in a cubicle, we're going to take the other end of this and plug it into the RJ45 wall outlet. And then the wires, they go through the maze of, of wiring through the walls and through the conduit. And it goes back to a wiring closet, some centralized point. And in that centralized point, we have something like this, a Cisco Catalyst switch. And we're going to connect that laptop or that client device into this Catalyst switch. That's how we get devices onto the network. But as we're drawing this out, as you're looking through different documentation out at Cisco's website and in books, it's going to look more like this. The switch is going to look sort of like a pizza box. It looks like a pizza box that has some arrows on top of it. And we're going to see the clients connecting into the switch. So I'll just draw some lines interconnecting our clients into the switch. We've got another switch over here on the topology. Let's connect it as well. And this device represents a file server. We might have this repository where clients can share a set of files. Maybe that's located on a dedicated file server. Maybe it's a database server, but it connects into the network just like everybody else does. It has a cable that gets it into a switch, probably a Cisco Catalyst switch. But what is this device? It looks sort of like a hockey puck, doesn't it? That device is called a router. And a router, and by the way, they come in very different form factors. I thought I would be able to lift this one to show you, but they come much larger than this as well. This is a fairly small Cisco router, but it's got an Ethernet port. And what we can do with a router is break up and interconnect IP address spaces. You see, this entire side of the router, that all these devices, they could belong to one IP address space. All the devices on the other side of the router, they can belong to a different IP address space. And the router kind of stands in the middle and it separates those two. So just like we connect in a client to a switch, we can connect the router into the switches as well. And it, it's the dividing point between these two IP address spaces. For example, if this client wants to talk to this server it's in the same address space. It doesn't need to go through the router. Nobody over here needs to be bothered with any of the traffic on this side of the router if we're just talking from this client to this server. The traffic is going to go into the switch and it's going to go up to the server. If traffic does need to go from, let's say, this client to the file server, no problem. The router is going to see that this client wants to get to an address that's on this network. And that's what the router does. It routes traffic from, in this case, this client through the switch up to the server. And that's an example of a LAN, a very basic local area network. To sum up some of the characteristics, a LAN is typically high speed. With these switches, they could have 10 megabit per second ports, 100 megabit per second ports, 1 gigabit, 1 billion bits per second. That's supported. In fact, some of the newer switches, they even have 10 gig ports. Those are typically used to interconnect switches, but we have very fast or relatively fast connections on our Ethernet switches. Another characteristic of the LAN is it's fairly centrally located within a building or maybe within a department in a building.